Shalom, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, and double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS that taught us this word. I just wanted to do a video on, you know, stress and, you know, how to balance that and meditation and just dealing with stress and just, you know, if you have a lot going on, because, uh, it's just something I've been dealing with lately, you know, loss of sleep, insomnia, you know, for you, if you have like a stressful job, you know, tight deadlines that you have to meet or whatever, and Esau is just wearing you out to the point where you're just dreaming about your job, you know, because you're just stressed out, working 10 hours a day, every day, you know, having to bring your work home with you, you know just try to, to balance your life, you know, just balance your everyday life, balance your work life, you know, the truth, balance this truth, balance, you know, with your woman, just everyday life, you know, there's certain techniques you could do to help, you know, ease your mind um, from that, you know, certain foods you can take. Mainly, you know, exercise the best, but a lot of times we don't, you know, you're in that position, you don't have a lot of time, you know, to go to the gym. You're just too tired or whatever. So, you know, I just want to bring out a couple of meditation techniques for stress relief. It's an article out of uh, VeryWellMind.com. Mindfulness Meditation Techniques for Stress Relief. Uh... There are many, many mindfulness meditation techniques that can be effective for stress release and relaxation. Really, any activity that you perform where you stay fully present, completely and non-judgmentally rooted in the now can count as a mindfulness meditation technique. And when practiced regularly, can bring the benefits of meditation in your life. Skip down sounds, you know. One effective mindfulness meditation technique involves focusing mindfully on the sounds of your environment. While many people believe that a quiet environment is vital for a successful meditation session, it is actually useful to have environmental sound when incorporating your practice in mindfulness meditation of focusing on a sound. In addition to using environmental sound tech, environmental sound to focus mindfulness meditation, music can be useful focus as well. It can bring additional benefits of music. Yeah, you know, certain types of music, like higher vibrations, like classical music, you know, heart music. I want to play that in the background, or like nature sounds too. You know, when you're meditating, in a quiet room, you go to YouTube. Do uh like rain sounds, thunderstorm sounds, you know, tropical uh, environment sounds where they have like birds chirping and you know crickets. It was just like what the article was saying about different sounds. You know, can help you relax. You know, when you're at the house. Uh, sensations, physical sensations, can provide focus for mindfulness. Meditation techniques, paying focus on non-judgmental attention to sensations to fill your body, both from inside and the outside, to provide a deep meditation experience and can be useful in coping with emotional stress, as well as in some instances. Uh, thoughts. One of the main hindrances that people experience when they are new to meditation is the inability to completely clear their mind. You got a bunch of random thoughts, you know, you're stressed out, you're thinking about 101 different things that's going on, things that you have to do, things that you didn't do, you know, you have to learn to clear your mind and just focus, you know, focus on, you know, meditation, focus on the scriptures, it's often difficult to stop the steady stream of thought flowing in and out, and when people first sit down to meditate, their thoughts often get louder before they quiet down. I gotta learn to, you know, clear your mind. Um, breathing. 
breathing is one of the few completely consistent things in life. Regardless of what else is going on, there's always breathe, breath in, and breathe out. And the re repetition of these two activities. The awareness of this process has been used by countless people as an effective mindfulness meditation technique. The very act of being aware of one's breath can lead to better breathing which can lead to physical and emotional relaxation. And breathing meditation is a classic and often used meditation for these reasons. Yeah, just take the time just to breathe in and breathe out slowly, you know. And taste. Uh, when stressed, people often instinctively use their sense of taste as a stress reliever through mindless munching or satisfying sweet cravings that can be brought on by cortisol. So yeah, you know, that cortisol, what is cortisol? You know, when you have high levels of stress, you know, your body produces that. And that can be a bad thing. This is uh, from WebMD.com. Understanding high versus low cortisol levels. Cortisol is a hormone your body releases when you're under stress. Your doctor may want you to be tested to see if you have the right levels of cortisol in your blood. Uh, cortisol is made by your adrenal glands, two small glands that sit on top of your kidneys. Along with helping you respond to stress, it also plays a key role in other functions, including how your body breaks down carbohydrates, lipids, and proteins. Yeah, that cortisol. So what happens when you have too much of that? Uh, this is from yourhormones.info. Uh, what is cortisol? Cortisol is a steroid hormone, one of the glucocorticoids made in cortex of the andral glands and released into the blood. Yeah, we just read about that. So what happens if I have too much cortisol? Too much cortisol can, over a prolonged period of time, can lead to a condition called Cushing syndrome. This can be caused by a wide range of factors, such as tumor that produces andral uh, cortotropic hormone, and therefore increases cortisol secretion, or taking certain types of drugs. Uh, symptoms include rapid weight gain, mainly in the face, chest, and abdomen, contrasted with s slender arms and legs, uh, a flushed and round face, high blood pressure, osteoporosis, skin changes, weak muscles, mood strings, swings, which often, which also, which show as anxiety, depression, or irritability, increased thirst, and frequency of urination. High cortisol levels over a prolonged time can also cause lack of sex drive, and in women, periods can become irregular, less frequent, or stop altogether. Yeah, so you know, basically, you know, it raises estrogen really in you. That cortisol you know, helps you gain weight, you know, muscle weakness, mood swings, anxiety, depression, irritability. So yeah, you just want to keep that stress in you know, order to check, you know, meditate, you know, work out if you can, you know, clear your mind, clear mind, you know, eat right, you know, because there's certain foods and teas you can take, you know, that'll put you in a relaxed state, you know, help you get to sleep, better sleep patterns, because that insomnia, man, you, you know, you lose sleep, that you know, messes with you, you know. Uh, it's another article out of MD, webmd.com. Uh, chamomile, plant, tea, and oils, health benefits and uses. Uh, chamomile has been used as a traditional medicine for thousands of years to calm anxiety and settle stomachs. 
In the U.S., chamomile is best known as an ingredient in herbal tea. Uh, chamomile is considered a safe plant and has been used in many, in many cultures for stomach ailments and as a mild sedative. Yeah, so you know, right before you go to bed, just take a couple couple cups of chamomile tea, you know, to relax you, help you go to sleep. You know, you don't want to be drinking wine all the time and liquor. You know, but take some you know, like chamomile tea. Works as a mild sedative. You know, relaxes you. And it's also good for you too. But you know, onto the scriptures, really. The best comfort is the scriptures, you know, reading the scriptures, you know, because you're not going to get your rest here in America. You know, you're always going to be stressed out. You know, the saints are worn out. As they spoke about in the book of Daniel, you know, you can't look to America, you know, for comfort and rest. You're not going to get it. you got to go to these scriptures, you know. Uh, first scripture I want to get is Psalms. 94, and I'll start at 17, unless the Lord had been my help, my soul had almost dwelt in silence, when I said, my foot slippeth, my mercy, O Lord, held me up, in the multitude of my thoughts within me, thy comforts delighted my soul, yeah, the multitude of thoughts, you know, being stressed out and all that. Comforts, you know, he's in the Lord. You know, Yahweh washed me out shy. That was delight. That, that's going to be your delight, you know. you know. When you look at that word thoughts, you know, in the Hebrew, the other word there is Shirai Payam. It means disquieting thoughts, you know, thoughts. Thought, uh, thoughts, yeah, you know, this the main point is that disquieting thoughts, you know, in the multitude of thy thoughts within me, thy comforts the light in my soul, and that links up with the article that we read, you know, about thoughts, you know, one of the main hindrances, hindrances that people experience when they are new to meditation is the inability to completely clear their mind. You know, all them disquieting thoughts flow into their head. You know, what went on throughout the day at work, you know, what's going on with a woman or whatever. You know, so you know, you gotta go to these scriptures. Next scripture is uh, Matthew eleven twenty eight. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. You know, because Yahweh Shai is the only one that can give you rest. You know, when you invest in America, you know, that's not going to give you rest. You think if you get that promotion of the job, that promotion is not going to give you rest. That's just going to be more, you know, BS that you're going to have to deal with. More stress is on you. You know. You have to go to Yahweh Shai for that rest. The only true rest we're going to get is in the kingdom. You know, that's when we're going to sing upon our beds, you know, and rejoice, you know, not here. So, yeah, you know, when you're getting bogged down, you know, heavy laden, those heavy laden thoughts, or whatever you're going through, whatever you're going through, you know, practice those techniques, you know, you work out. Keep the blood flowing in you. Eat right. Drink that chamomile tea. You know, just and learn to meditate and relax. And just continue on in the scriptures. You know, endure in the scriptures. You know, because that's our rest right now. See so scriptures. So yeah, I just you know wanted to bring that out. Just talk about stress because that's what I'm kind of going through right now. Uh. But yeah, you know, with that, show on.